Here's another way for you to represent yourself. To answer the question, who am I? We'd like you to put a voice thread on your profile and to include in that voice thread four photos that represent you. Now you must use Creative Commons images and you can't use images of your actual likeness, your pictures of yourself. But what we'd like you to do is find four images to show what it is to be you. Uh, we've based this assignment on a graduate school application process. The Chicago Graduate School of Business asked their applicants to send them a PowerPoint presentation. In four slides or less, please provide readers with content that captures who you are. So we'd like you to do the same thing. We'd like you to think about either describing a process that you've gone through in your life, breaking it up into four sections with each one represented by a single image, or represent four different aspects of your identity or four different communities that are important to you. Consider your age, culture, background, gender, or anything that might show who you are. But as you can see in this first slide, this is a very real world assignment. It's something you might have to do if you eventually apply to the Chicago Graduate School of Business. On this voice thread, we want you to use more than just images and text. In fact, one educator, Michael McVeigh, noticed that the Chicago Business School uh, proposal was a good one um, in that they are now accepting images to represent their students. However, um, if you look deep into the proposal, they say that the slides will be printed and placed in each applicant's file for review, which means all the bells and whistles such as flash, video clips, embedded music, and hyperlinks won't be considered in the evaluation process. This clearly levels the playing field for everyone. Michael McVeigh says that this not only levels the playing field, it flattens it, it crops it, it sucks the very creativity out of it. And he talks about this difference in terms of butterflies. He says, this is the difference between a butterfly in the wild and one pinned to a board in a display case. So these last two slides represent butterflies pinned to the board and then a video that shows a <laughs> butterfly going into the wild. Enjoy these last two slides and think about what you want to do to enliven your voice thread so that you can include more than just image and text. You can include audio and perhaps video as well. Look at that! Another one came out just earlier this morning. I look, Cocoon was black, but uh, we went somewhere for a few hours and there she is. Do you smell funny? Do you smell funny? Mm hmm? Oh, there you go. Get on my finger. There you go. Oh. Are you ready to fly yet? Oh, he's got like green veins. See that? I bet that's because he's so new. Green veins? See on the um, underside of his wings? The veins are green. He's got fur on the bottom of his wings. Smell it, Wookie! Smell it! It's peeing on me again. Oh. See? Yeah. Butterfly pee! Maybe it has like a bunch of excess liquid it has to get rid of. Or something. Before it can fly.
Okay, ready? Ready, everybody? <laughs> 